This is the BMW M3 CS, the most expensive 3 Series you can buy. And this is a BMW 330i, the cheapest 3 Series your money can buy at $44,500, literally a third of the price of that one. So what are you really getting for three times the cost? Why is there such a high price disparity between two cars on the same platform? Are you just paying for more grill space? I don't know. And how many seconds at the track does $86,000 get you? Today? We're gonna find out. Now obviously the M3 CS is a fast car, but for an almost $100,000 price difference, do you get any conveniences or luxuries the 330i doesn't? Before we hit the track, we're gonna compare these cars as daily drivers. Okay, Justin, here we are, the 2023 BMW 330i. This is the spoiled rich kid high school sure. car. Yeah, definitely. Or your good investments grandma's car. You got your tan interior, yeah. black accents. It feels right at home in here in suburbia we're cruising around i actually quite like it in here despite <laughs> being the quote poverty spec which is kind of a stupid term for it i mean this is a forty-four thousand dollar car mm -hmm. it's really quiet in here it's so quiet it's got a sunroof which i didn't think you'd get with a base model it has carplay wireless carplay hey that's a win for me really cool entertainment system yeah it's got two huge screens in front of you the seats are very firm but like on the freeway and around town sitting in traffic i usually get like sore in my lower back and my legs after a while, these seats have been totally fine. I think it's because they have the signature BMW like thigh support. This car has 18 inch wheels. Usually bigger wheels are an option, but I think in this case, it actually makes the car better because the tires that go on an 18 inch wheel are fatter. And especially around town going over bumps and like big old cracks and stuff, potholes, you don't even feel it with these tires. Yeah, it's it gets great. really harsh the smaller your sidewall is. Yeah. Right off the bat, I don't like the lack of knobs. I know I say this every time we get a new car, it feels like. I like having climate control knobs instead of having to go through the climate menu. Say you're in CarPlay and you wanna adjust your the temperature or fan speed of your AC, you have to go into a different menu and then look at the screen while you're driving and adjust it. Too many things to do while you're driving. It is, and this car does have lane keep assist. Keeps you in your lane until you go into like a sport mode or something and then that turns off. Even though it's 44 grand and does feel like a very nice car, it's still missing some key things I've noticed. It doesn't have adaptive cruise control. That feels like something it should come with stock. Or other cars I think at this price point would come with that. It has heated seats that work very well, but it doesn't have ventilated seats, which I kind of miss. I love having my ventilated seats. And I feel like at this price point, maybe a car from Hyundai or Toyota would have that feature. The car gets okay gas mileage since it's left the factory. It's average 25 miles per gallon, which I think is actually decent. We're gonna talk about livable cars. This is probably the most most livable car it's possible. It's so good. It just does everything. Commuting, traffic. It's pretty clear that BMW knows how to make a really good base model car. So I'm very excited to see what a top trim car from BMW feels like. That alarm means Super Bowl 58 is this weekend. And with today's sponsor, DraftKings, you can take your shot at the crown. All new customers will score $200 in bonus bets instantly when they place their first $5 bet on anything. Just download DraftKings app now and sign up using promo code DONUT. You can even use your $200 in bonus bets to combine multiple bets from Super Bowl 58 in a same game parlay for a shot at an even bigger payout. And if you're already signed up for DraftKings, they didn't forget about you. This weekend, you can make a bet on Super Bowl 58 and get a bonus bet back in the amount of your initial wager. Max reward varies. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code DONUT and bet just $5 on any wager in score $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code DONUT only at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official partner of the NFL. Before we get into that, we're in the suburbs, Nolan, yeah. and I really am thirsty. Okay. Uh, it's an early morning. Yeah. Let's get some Starbucks. Okay, let's do it. All right, so we're gonna get a hot chocolate and a, was it ice matcha? I'm gonna get a lemon loaf as well. Oh, lemon Yeah, no. ice lemon loaf. Make that two. Make that two. Got it. That'll be $17 then. There's no cup holders in here. What do we... Could you... Would you... 
Yeah. Please. All right, thank you. Immediately, I'm already way more stressed driving this thing. It feels similar in here. Like the infotainment yeah. screens are definitely exactly, the, exactly same. the same. They just have cooler graphics on them. It's the same car, it's just nicer. Way more firm. I can feel a lot more of what we're driving over. There's a bunch of carbon fiber around the car on the inside and outside, but on the outside, that front splitter already is giving me issues. I just feel like anything carbon fiber exterior, I'm immediately worried about breaking it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right, here's a little bump. You know, and that's not the only carbon fiber on this car. There's tons of it. The whole hood. The whole front, though. Is actually carbon fiber. This car doesn't have a sunroof like the 330. You know, um, race cars shouldn't. Yeah, it's got a carbon roof, which helps lower the center of gravity. It also has, like you mentioned, some humps for helmets, although you can't see them from the top of the roof, which is really cool. There's carbon fiber all over this thing. Interestingly, though, it does weigh a couple hundred pounds more than the 330. I think that has to do with the bigger engine all and the all-wheel drive system. It's funny, I thought there was going to be a a lot more switches in here that the other car doesn't have but since everything is through the touchscreen interface it has exactly the same amount of switches it's definitely faster we're in like street mode right now there's sport and track mode as well to make it go even faster but i think we're gonna keep it pretty mild for right now just to be on the streets just to behave anyway let's get off the streets let's get out of this traffic and let's take it to the canyons oh yeah all right, Justin, here we are in the canyons. No more of that street driving stuff. Sport mode activated. Sport mode is on. We're out here at Spunky Canyon Road, great little canyon road. We're gonna see how this 330i feels when it's in its intended habitat, you know? I think this is what this car was made for. It's a daily driver. It's very comfortable, very practical, safe, but also it handles. It's yeah. meant to get spunky out at Spunky Canyon. <laughs> Let's talk about the motor. We got a turbocharged inline four cylinder engine. It makes 255 horsepower. Not the craziest amount of power in the world, but honestly, like when you go shift down and punch it, woo! Yeah, it feels all right. Gives us like a zero to 60, I think, of about five and a half seconds. It's quick, it feels good. But what I will say, I've been driving this car for a couple days now. This thing is just so planted on the freeway. I understand now why BMW drivers drive like jerks. Oh yeah? Because they don't realize how fast they're going because the car is so dang planted. So what exactly is the real difference of this and the CS? If the CS is just an upgraded version of this car, this car is pretty nice. I mean, the name CS stands for Competition Sport. That's the kind of car you're gonna wanna take it to a track day. You're gonna want to take it you know, up your favorite canyon road and meet up with your friends and show off a little bit. Oh, you got the CS. I mean, it's, it's a serious machine. Whereas this is just kind of like the ubiquitous machine. I mean, dude, you moved here recently, but before Tesla's kind of took over, everyone in LA either had a three or five series BMW or a G-Wagon. Now the Tesla is kind of like the status vehicle of choice, but 10 years ago, 20 years ago, certainly it was the BMW. I'd much rather drive this thing than a Model 3. You know? oh, God, I know. This is so much nicer inside. I've never really been a huge BMW fan, but after spending a few days with this guy right here, like I totally get it. Yeah. I've been using my blinkers in this thing. I've been trying to change perceptions, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to change the narrative behind BMW drivers while I'm behind the wheel of this thing. All right, here we are, Justin, in the 550 horsepower M3 CS. What a fun sentence to say. I love my job. <laughs> oh, man. I would get so many tickets if I had this thing. And this one's all wheel drive, right? It is all wheel drive, that's right. That's one of the main differences. Really puts all 550 horsepower down to the ground through those tires. I mean, if you want a car to just eat up canyon roads, this might be it. Although you might be You're a little- Spinning a lot. Yeah, you might be uh, <laughs> a little achy by the end of it because these seats are firm. Very, very firm. They're great. They're great for holding oh, us. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know, not a lot of movement there, yeah. especially compared to the I car we just got out of. It's crazy. Like, I, you know, I don't have to brace myself at all in these seats. The steering wheel is nice and fat and soft and chunky. God, I, <laughs> I love the fat steering wheel, man. We get to drive a lot of cars through our job, which is great. This is one of those where you get in it and you're like, I don't know if I'm good enough to really extract everything out of this car. 
you said, Justin, you gotta break the law. To really get what you want out of it. But you know what? It feels awesome. It feels great. It's not overly stiff, like race car stiff. No, it's it's just a little, little stiff. It was a bit much on the city streets. I don't know if I'd want to daily this thing every day, but I know which car I'd want to wake up early and take out to Stunt Road in the morning. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, maybe with softer seats, you know, if you could switch these out. That is, I think, my main criticism of this car. I don't know, just something about this car just feels so much more at home out here than the 330 did, but still both excellent cars. I don't want you to think that the 330 is a bad car because it's not, it's not. excellent. And the price reflects that quite honestly. It's not a cheap car, it's 44 and a half. This is just the top of the line yeah. version of it. Yes, and you know, when you have a car that good, when you spend so much more money engineering it to make it as best as it can be, it shouldn't be a surprise that it's just amazing. This car is just great though, it's just awesome. I can't wait to see how it feels on the track. So with mixed feelings around potentially dailying this car, we're headed to Willow Springs Raceway to see the CS where it belongs. All right, the time has come. How much faster is the CS than the base 330i? Let's find out. Oh yeah, this thing's fast. A little bit of understeer. Oh, okay, this thing feels so planted. It still feels pretty hefty. Still feels like a big car. So he's about halfway through and we're at 35 seconds. He's on the back side of the track, so, oh boy, this is gonna be fast. <laughs> oh my God, this is too fast over there. here is $86,000 of a price increase worth it compared to the base model. Can't wait to find out. The time to beat is a 123.75. No one is looking fast, but probably not as confident with those tires. Let's see what he can do. This is only rear wheel drive now, so oh yeah, much more body roll. Man, I mean, look, I'm going 90 miles an hour now, and the car feels so stable. Like, you can feel what BMW built on this car. The car definitely has some lift off oversteer, which I want to be careful with. The tires just, the tires are the limiting factor right now for sure. A lot of understeer in the front. That's to be expected. I think these are all seasons. This car has been honestly pretty surprising. Like it's really nice inside. It drives really well. Yeah. It has a good sport mode. It's kind of fast, but uh, how fast do you think it is compared to the CS? I think it's going to be pretty slow. <laughs> second turn you can tell there's a lot more body roll but you can hear that there's a lot more body roll and a lot more slip in those tires with all that being said though he is at a minute right now
What's your guess? I'm gonna say 134. What? What do you think you got, Nolan? 133. Ooh, 134, 25. Oh, I was joking. Really? It was that slow? <laughs> it was that slow, buddy. Oh, man. Workwear. Clothes that you wear while you work. Super excited to announce that Donut has made its own line of workwear. I'm talking jackets, fully custom accents, heavy duty canvas, bespoke donut buttons, chenille patchwork, chain stitching? Are you kidding me? These things are 100% ready for working on your car or making you look good when you're doing something else. We've been working on this stuff for months. I've personally been very involved. I flew to Seattle to feel fabrics. It looks really cool and it's like the perfect level of elevated. This stuff is now available at donutmedia.com or check it out at Zoomies, but hurry because I hear it's selling out super fast. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go wear these clothes to do some work. You should try it on for a change. Oh man, I'm still shaking. That was so much fun. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, because you were scared coming out of that one, and this one, yeah. you're like, woo! Yeah. <laughs> but it was an 11 second difference. That's a substantial difference. It's huge. It's like not even a question. The real question that we're here for, is that thing worth 130, 140 grand? In this application, Yes. Totally. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You don't need all that to drive every day, but if you're hitting the track all the time, great car. Yeah. This can do both. 100%. The fact that we can have two totally separate driving experiences on the same platform mm -hmm. is a testament to how good that platform is and why it's been the standard for sedans for decades now. Yeah, that's Max Graphics. This is 1080p. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, hit that like button. Let me know down in the comments how we're doing. And let us know what we should drive next. Yes. <laughs>